few days ago, the Black Forest Labs dropped a new model. Everyone is exciting. What's yet? It's an image editing model called Flux Context. Today, let's dive into the details of the model. We will see how we can use it. All right. So this one is the announcement of the new model, which is called Flux One Context from Black Forest Labs. I encourage you to take a detailed look at all the information. I think it's really eye-opening. It feels like some magic can be done in using a simple model. Wow. Um. So if you want to try it for free, they also provide a playground. They call it Flux Playground. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can find the link, the playground.bfl.ai. I think it require you to log in. You can either sign up using email or you can log in via Google. So once you log in, you can see the front page. I think it shows you some of the examples that you can generate. There is on the left panel. You can see that there is a button generate. So this is for text to image generating, or you can also upload a reference image. The second one, I think this one is new. It's edit. So click on that. You can see that there is some examples here. I think uh, this one it just shows you how you can provide a uh, image and you can provide uh, your description, so it will be able to make the edit based on your instruction. The frog is now a panda, so the frog becomes a panda, and then it also is capable of like replacing the the word the archer into context. Right, so from archer to context, from the frog to the panda, it's like a magic, and I think the it didn't change much for the background. Although if you look in detail, there's something missing on the right side, but in general, I think it's very very um similar background images. Okay, so I think that's one example. I think scroll down, we can see some other examples. So we can even see that it can able to uh, change the perspective, right? So from uh, closer to the cat, quite nice. It's able to change the word joy. It can change it to the other BFL. Looks interesting. So the next one is uh, it. Uh, Modify the ball into a cartoon. Very very cute. And uh, the next one is about uh, the consistency of the character. So we can see that it、uh, is able to preserve all the information from the subject, and we'll be able to modify it. All right, I think、uh, you can. Start by uploading your image. You want to make an edit, so you can drag and drop, or you can click to upload. And、uh, I think、uh, it will give you about two、uh, hundred credits. So it should take about、uh, four credits to generate one image. So I will show you in one minute. All right. So.、Uh, Let me try something. Yeah. So once you upload your image, so then you can describe what you want to change. And pay attention to that. If you click the three dot button, it shows you the some of the options. So make sure that you be careful to change the batch size from four to one. I think because by default it generates four images. But it will take about sixteen credits. So if you want to start with small, right? So you can change it to batch size one. And、uh, I think that there is a safety tolerance. That's two. I think for the 
uh, added model, you you are not able to allow you to go above two. So two is uh, the highest you can go. There is a prompt arm sampling, which enable prompt arm sampling. There is output format. You can either generate a PMG or the JPEG. I think a PMG is uh, has a slightly higher quality, so that's what I recommend. There's also a seed. I think a seed you can either specify one if you want to, um, like uh, repeat it. In future, I suggest you to can write one. Otherwise, you can leave it empty, which stands for random. Okay, so I think this one is important. Make sure that you um, make a decision here. Okay, once we have our original image, we can specify, describe what we want to change. Let's uh, we can change the image background to beach okay and uh, let's uh, press uh, the right arrow button so make sure that uh, you click uh, the three dot button so make sure that uh, there is one here okay press that All right, yeah, as we can see that it uh, successfully changed the, the image background to a uh, beach, right? Wow, how cool is that? I think you can able to specify the any background, so which make it really cool. You can have it to some of the other place to uh, to New York City street all right and uh, press uh, the right arrow yeah double check to make sure that it only generates one image wow looks uh, really Amazing. All right, so here we have uh, one input uh, original image, and we can um, start by asking it to change some of the items. So let's see. Uh, we'll try to change the font color to red in the sign. All right, and then press the right arrow button. So make sure also that you you uh, double check what the batch size is. I think by default it's uh, four. So every time if you refresh the page, it's uh, you usually go back to four. So at the time, I think you need to make adjustment. All right, so press right arrow. Wow, it's cool, right? So I think uh, successfully changed the the color of the words to the red. Okay. So let's uh, also try to change the style of the input image. So I think for even 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 for the generated image, you are still able to make a uh, edit. Right, so I think we, we can try this one too. Okay, so let's... Uh, change the subject to anime style. Press the right arrow
yeah, I think that looks cool. So we are successfully be able to firstly to change the font color from black to red, and then we change it from a real person to a cartoon person. So how cool is that? I I feel it even even the face expressions are very similar to the original image. So yeah, looks cool. And then I think uh, we can even ask it to change it back. So let's try it. Change the style of image from anime to a real person photograph and uh, press uh, the start button. Yeah, all right. Yes, I think that's really cool. So you can basically change um, back and forth between different uh, style. I think that uh, lo looks really cool. Here's another example. I think it's very useful. There's lots of time you want to remove something from the image. For example, there is uh, watermarks, right? So let's see how the new model can handle that. So let's give some example. So we see that uh, on the right uh, bottom corner, there is a watermark that we want to remove. So sometimes the watermark can be really big. Sometimes it can be really um, small. But uh, either way, I think uh, you see on the left side, there's also a logo called uh, AI. So let's also remove that too. All right. So let's. Uh, Describe it. Remove the watermarks on the left, on the top left, and the bottom right location. Okay, and uh, and make sure that you also double check to make sure that the batch size, which is. Uh, Default to four, make it to one, and the PMG. Okay, and uh, press it. Okay, we after a few seconds, we see that it return the the image after edit. Wow, the watermarks are completely gone. Really wonderful. Great. Let's see. After we remove the, the watermark, we can make a further edit. We change it to our edit uh, uh, photo. So let's see. Let's generate a person. Hold. Uh, the pin, all right. So I think this is also very useful. Lots of time you want uh, to make a photograph of something, right? Traditionally, there is lots of uh, hassle you need to do to make it uh, realistic. But uh, with the context model, it feels it's very, very easy. You basically can just uh, take a photograph of the item and then you describe it e so easily. Wow, that's something. Yeah, I think uh, in this case, it uh, didn't uh, do very well because there is uh, extra finger. <laughs> I think that's uh, something the model needed to make a uh, adjustment. Let's try it. Sometimes. Uh, it uh, can can be better for women because there are more women image in the internet. So let's uh, try to be more specifically asking it to generate a uh, image of a woman holding the pin. All right.
yeah, I think uh, yes, indeed. I think this time, I think uh, it didn't give us the extra finger. Great job. I think you can you can uh, make a further edit. It uh, uh, already reduced lots of my credits. So for that purpose, I'll leave it to you to make a further experiment. Overall, I feel it's very, very um, easy to use. And uh, there's also lots of use case. I will also try to summarize some of them in a blog post. I will add it to the video description. Please do feel free to check them out. And I think uh, for now, I think uh, the Flux Playground is a great place to get started with the model. I hope uh, you can find this uh, model useful and also find this video useful. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and uh, share it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.